I am Dr. Arish Ennis, Consultant Laparoscopic Surgeon and Surgical Gastroenterologist. I am the Founder and Director of IMAS. It is an Institute of Minimal Access Surgery in Baswangudi, Bangalore. I am a Visiting Consultant in Apollo Hospital, Columbia Asia Hospital and Fortis Hospital. I am a Teaching Faculty as a Professor of Surgery in Kempegoda Institute of Medical Sciences. I am going to describe about the hernia. Hernia is the swelling in an abdominal part or inguinal region. The patient usually presented with a swelling in the umbilicus or previous operated site or in the inguinal region. That is called groin. The usual symptoms of hernia are swelling and the pain. Unless the hernia is complicated, the patient will have a painless swelling. So any painless swelling in the body, the patient has to visit, consult a clinician for the diagnosis. The usual causes for the hernia, in hernia there are types of hernia that is called inguinal hernia, ventral hernia and incisional hernia. Incisional hernia is the hernia at the previous operated site. If the patient underwent any surgeries like appendicectomy or open gallbladder surgery or open laparotomy, if the scar is weak, the patient will have a swelling there that is called incisional hernia. Umbilical hernia is common in the umbilicus and the patient will have a swelling in the umbilicus, in the belly and in the later stage the patient will have on and off pain. Inguinal hernia present in the area of the groin and it is most common in males. The ventral hernia and incision hernia is common in both males and females. Usually the diagnosis by a clinician and we do ultrasound scan and CT scan for the confirmation of the hernia. So all hernia should be treated. The hernia is nothing but a weakness in the musculature. So we need to repair the hernia with the mesh that is called prosthetic mesh. We use a proline prosthetic mesh for the hernia repair surgeries. In the hernia surgery, we have two types of surgeries. One is open surgery and laparoscopic surgeries. In open surgery, the patient will have a scar about some 5 to 6 cm depends on the size of the hernia. And in laparoscopic surgery, the patient will have a small hole of about 5 mm to 1 cm and after surgery they will not have any scar and it is a painless and bloodless surgery. The most of the hernia surgeries I practice as a daycare surgeries, I operate hernia in the morning, I discharge the patient in the evening. Usually the patient will not have any pain and they are fit to resume their activities in a day or two. So in a laparoscopic surgery, the patient will not have any scar and it is a very less invasive procedure. There are two types of laparoscopic surgery that is called TAPP and TEP in medical terminologies. So we decide the type of procedure depends on the type of hernias.